What's going on, everybody? I'm W. And I'm the Thick Baby. And we are going to be bringing you some comic news. For our first topic, we have the Justice League vs. Godzilla vs. King Kong. Number six is coming out this week. We've talked about this comic a few times. It's one of my favorites that has been coming out this, well, started last year, but these past few months. Okay. And it's been pretty damn good. It pits the Justice League vs. Godzilla vs. King Kong. The villains kind of teamed up with the super monsters, so you got Lex Luthor against them. Oh, interesting. Does the monster know they're on their squad? Uh, or is it just like, we're capitalizing on them? There's a villain I'm not familiar with, and he seems to be, he's like a puppet master or a toy master of some kind. Okay. And the monsters seem to be semi-okay with him. I'm interesting. not exactly yeah. sure. I'm a little unfamiliar with DC villains a little bit. But uh, it's dropping March 19th for $4.99. It's a 40-page issue. And it uh, shows Lex Luthor releasing a secret from up his sleeve that could change the dynamic of the bag. <gasps> I'm guessing kryptonite. Just saying yeah, it's going to weaken that's, Superman. That's uh, just guessing. So he powers them up with their own technological armor powered by kryptonite. Oh, Mecha Godzilla. <laughs> uh, we also got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, The Untold Destiny of the Foot Clan, number one. Right. Coming out this Wednesday as well with a price tag of three ninety nine. It's a twenty eight page special, and it's focusing on the granddaughter of Uruku Sky Sakai. I'm not good at with his name, but AKA known as Shredder. Gotcha. So All it's right. Shredder's granddaughter. Uh, he's dead. He died a long time ago, and she's in charge of the Foot Clan now. Everything's under her command. It all belongs to her, and it says she has big plans for the potential of her clan. Huge. So she'll be pretty crazy. We'll see where it goes. Um, everyone loves Ninja Turtles. I love them. Yeah, so. very collectible all the time. Yeah, should be a pretty good issue to get. And talked about a couple weeks ago, it's getting its second issue finally. We have Lilo and Stitch, number two, coming out Ooh. this Wednesday as well. $4 comic, 32-page issue. Uh, Stitch in the last comic evaded the clutches of the Sovereign, and he got lost in New York City. Right. So it's going to pick up from there. Is this just the whole story of Lilo and Stitch, basically? Or? Uh, it's a different story of Lilo and Stitch. So okay. they've been peaceful for like 10, 15 years, but they didn't age at all. So they're okay. still kids. And out of nowhere, some alien army called the Sovereign showed up with mech suits okay. that are powered with Stitch's DNA and are basically just destroying the planet, trying to capture Stitch. Interesting. Huh. Uh, we got X-Men Forever number one coming March 20th. This is tying directly into the fall of House X and rise of the powers of X. So if you had a lot of questions on how any of those ended or just basic questions continuing on those series, this one is said to answer all of those questions. Okay. Yeah. So I'd go pick that up. It's a pretty key issue then, it sounds yeah. like, honestly. Um, it seems like the whole series is going to be key to a lot of what they're writing right now before they start a new series soon. Okay. So I would go pick this one up just as collector item. It can't go down. Yeah. That's what I think. Um, Web of Spider-Man number one, also coming March 20th. This one you need to pick up. It's going to be a start for a whole new series of Spider-Man, introducing new characters, villains, stories, everything, continuing into 2025 where we get more series on Spider-Man. Okay. Yeah, so this is one that you need to pick up as just a key issue for a new series. For the yeah. upcoming years of yeah. Spider-Man. So go pick this one up, hold on to it, see what happens with Spider-Man to come up. So. Okay. Uh, biggest one I got coming now is Dune, House of Carino. Carino? Okay. I don't know how I'm, you say it. You're a big... Okay. I'm unfamiliar with that. Uh, this is a prequel to the Dune series coming from writers Brian Herbert and Kevin J. Anderson. Okay. This is going to be... Pick this one up. The Dune movie's already doing insanely good for part two. Uh, the Dune universe is going to expand all over the place with series, movies, comic books, everything. This is going to be one to pick up and just hold on to. Yeah, that'll yeah. be cool. So it's House what? I'm sorry. I didn't house Carino. Carino. C-O-R-R-I-N-O. Okay. I'm yeah. unfamiliar with that house, but yeah. there's like House Harkonnen, and they were the ones that owned the desert planet. Yeah. And then I'm, the I'm familiar with like the main ones from the movie. I haven't read the books or okay. anything. Yeah. or gotten too deep. Not familiar anyway. with them. They must have been a smaller house, yeah. but it should be cool to find out but about But definitely them. pick that one up and hold on to it for quite a while. Take my recommendation on that one. Oh, yeah. Uh, but that is what we have for our comics coming out this week and our comic news. Hey everybody, I'm The Thick Baby. And I'm W. And I just wanted to say, we have merch that has come out. They are sweatshirts with 
us on them and our logo on the front of them, head over to newschoolproject.us to pick those up. It's first come, first serve on all the sizes to so make sure you get there fast. We also have more videos and reels like this that we do all the time. Go and check us out on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Twitch, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok for all those new school project, new school gaming stuff. Uh, but thank you for watching, and we'll be back next week with more videos and reels for you. Thank you.